Welcome back, my fellow Darkstalkers. It's been a while since my last upload, but I'm going to be uploading a new series called Tech Tips. Basically, it's going to cover all different types of techniques, ways of performing, some of the higher level things, addressing some of the beginner to the pro executions, and what types of controllers to use, all that kind of stuff. Let's get into it, my friends. So what type of controller do you use? Use what you're comfortable with. I don't suggest you use like default PlayStation or Xbox controllers that aren't really designed for fighting games. They don't have all of the buttons on the front. And maybe they have like a, a cross type of D-pad or something where you don't have easy access to your diagonals. It's an eight-way directional game. You want access to all your buttons as well. So go with what you're comfortable with. But again, I don't suggest using default pads that aren't really made for fighting games. They're fine if you're just playing casually, of course. But a lot of this series is going to be about how to improve your techniques and do a lot of the higher level stuff. This is what you're probably going to need access to. It doesn't have to be some expensive joystick. Uh, you can get yourself a ball top or an American stick. I got myself um, basically a Korean Omni Arcade stick. And it was expensive. It was like 200 bucks, but it's really good quality. There's some things that are easier to do on it, like push blocking. And um, sometimes some of the uh, dashes and instant air dashes could be a little bit tougher on the joystick because you're using more of a range of motion versus a little d-pad where your thumb is pretty much just going a much shorter distance so there's pluses and minuses to both of them for the pad hey i like to kick back in my recliner put my feet up lay the pad on my lap and basically put my fingers over all the buttons i don't use my thumb for all the buttons uh, basically you want to play it like you're typing same thing you would do if you were using the joystick buttons. I hope you're not sliding your thumb from button to button on a joystick. So I think a lot of players get used to doing that um, from other games. But when you're trying to play something at a, at a higher level, especially like Street Fighter, Darkstalkers, any of the Versus series, games like that, where you have uh, more difficult executions being required to perform at a higher level, you want to have the right kind of tools, things to use. So this is what I use, and I'll demonstrate how I do some of my executions and stuff on both of them throughout this series. So I'm going to start off using the pad. Basically, I have it laying on my lap, like I said. I hold it basically uh, laying on my lap and putting all my fingers over all the buttons. Some of the basic things you want to work on really is like getting your chain combos down. Those should be pretty consistent. That's going to be much of how you're going to do a lot of damage with most of these characters. You, you don't need all the fancy combos. Yes, they will do more damage depending on the character in some cases. But a lot more of your opportunities will be just, just hit confirming some of your basic chain combos. And kind of trying to optimize them too. Uh, a good tip is... Uh, if they're blocking a lot of your attacks, like stop short after a couple of attacks and do something else, depending on the situation. It could be back dashing, depending on the character too. Uh, it could be walking forward and throwing. You know, basic fighting game strategies that you would apply in, in almost any game, uh, especially the Capcom games like Street Fighter and so forth. Uh, get your links down too. Your link timing is slower than your chain timing. Basically what you're doing is you're doing the full attack animation and you're not canceling it to the next attack like this. That was a chain combo. I'm pressing one button into the next and performing what would be a chain combo. Usually I double tap my buttons uh, sometimes when I'm doing chain combos just to ensure that uh, I'm going to get that kind of quick speed from one to the next. Uh, but you can certainly just press one button at a time too. Uh, the other thing is when you're doing your links, 
you're not canceling the animation frames. So you're doing a full uh, extension, but what you're trying to do is get the next linked attack to come out as soon as the um, that first link is ending and they're still in hit stun. So something like this. So that was a uh, low light kick linked into a low light kick and then the rest is just a chain so do your regular chain timing but do the link first and you could do this with a lot of your lights now your distances or your spacing is going to make a difference too so try to keep an eye on things like that too another thing to do is like make sure that you're your motions, I see a lot of beginners like they're overly jumping or, or always running away and stuff for their defense. Try to get comfortable blocking. Try to get comfortable with traditional blocking before you worry about um, trying to get down push blocking perfectly. Push blocking is very hard in Vampire Savior. Uh, you can get it down more consistently. Like I see a lot of uh, very good players doing it more consistently. Uh, throughout their matches, but they've practiced it a lot too. It's not something that's going to come easy to you. It's not like some of the Versus series, like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, where you can just hit all three punch buttons or so to uh, push block the opponent away. Um, so read up on how to get improve your like percentages for your push blocks and stuff like that, but basically it's entering uh, different inputs um, all across your buttons. Uh, don't press anything simultaneously. It should be one button at a time, but very quickly. The more buttons you're able to press that are different and, and it, in succession, uh, the better the chance you'll have at push blocking. And there's different techniques for push blocking, and I'll show that in another video. Um, it's a lot easier for me to do that on the joystick with the larger buttons than it is for the pad. Although I do try to push block on the pad, I just don't use as many buttons uh, for some reason. Uh, and I see pros run into this problem too, uh, where they'll get accidental dark force activations just from trying to push block. But uh, another thing to learn is uh, learn your, your like two in one cancels. You know, um, not all of them will combo, but some of them can be used in. Uh, different situations where it can create like a, f a frame trap of sorts. Um, try to learn your buffering too. Like this move in particular is uh, Dimitri's uh, uh, Midnight Pleasure. So I usually won't just do this, like do the input sloppy. Y your opponent will see what you're doing. Try to learn how to do it from a crouch position where you can hide your inputs a lot more. Um, this is called the buffer technique. This is where you'll you'll use those same attacks of that um, midnight pleasure as part of actual attacks, whether they block it or not. If they don't block it, they get hit. If they do block it, you can still go into the midnight pleasure regardless. So these are all different kinds of ways to uh, work some of these things into your regular gameplay. Uh, try to get down your special moves too, you know. If you, you're you always doing... Uh, if you're always doing fireballs when you're trying to do demon cradles and stuff, then you need to practice that more. Make sure that your motions are a lot more precise. Uh, get your fireballs down uh, when you want to play those types of zoning games and so forth. Uh, another thing is, you know, get some of your uh, your EX moves down, which is basically enhanced, uh, it's enhanced special moves and stuff. Try to be more precise with those too. Uh, throw, you know, throw when you can. Uh, all little things like this will help out your gameplay, but more so I want to start covering some of my executions. So this is one of the things I'm going to demonstrate on the screen again. Uh, how to basically do a buffered uh, Midnight Pleasure. And then I'm going to show 
how what I'm actually doing on the pad and how it would look on a joystick too. Now there's different ways to do this. Like you, you can just do a, a jab, uh, like a light punch into it, but you have to enter the motion a lot quicker. Usually that's a lot more effective, but it depends on 